Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market, and this is going to be my weekly forecast for April 25th, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and let's get to it. So, WTI did not really have a very good week this week, and going forward, long term, it probably will it will see more to the downside. If you look at technical indicators for, for WTI, you can see that the MACD is just about to cross the signal line. Last, last time the MACD crossed the signal line was down here. And if we basically make a line all the way towards this area, and then we can see that we basically broke out above the middle of the bullish band or the 20 simple moving average and continue this massive move to the upside. So going past or, or crossing the signal line is usually an indication for, to the above is a bullish in, uh, indication crossing to the downside is a bearish indication. And therefore we may see this market that has been rallying significantly basically drop all the way down towards the 50 moving average which will go this way and that means that we could see this market in the next few weeks drop towards roughly um, 85 to 80 dollars give or take world economy is slowing down and uh, we are approaching a period of the year where there's going to be less demand for oil and therefore um, demand will basically um, will basically uh, diminish uh, in the next few months so MACD is becoming bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI, and there's a lot of room to the downside. So, so this, could, this could be something that we'll see in the coming few weeks, dropping towards all the way down towards the 50 moving average. On the other hand, if we manage to take out the highs here of roughly $109, and then we'll most likely go towards 116, and then above 120, we'll go significantly higher. So. If you look at natural gas, natural gas is looking uh, terrible. So this was a horrible week for natural gas. It got all the way up towards $8 and then it just collapsed. We're trading at this current stage at $6.534. And there are um, there is an area that we there has to basically test that is basically this area here. And that's roughly at 6.5. If breaking below 6.5 or breaking below 6, then uh, this market will absolutely uh, be crushed. So we had this rally similar to this, it went completely parabolical. And at this current stage, it looks like we are going to see something similar to this, dropping towards the 50 moving average that is going to go this way. So that would be roughly $5 break below here well then we are looking at a market that drops all the way down to the 200 moving average which will move in this direction and of course we'll have rallies up and down but in general that's probably what we're going to see so this is 3.4 and for that time of year this will be in middle of the summer where demand is just a falling off a cliff and then it would be surprised if we saw um, natural gas back at those levels. If you go historically back, that is basically what we have seen. Every single period this time of year, um, you usually don't get these rallies, but these are also extraordinary times, and therefore we have these massive rallies. So that's probably what we're going, we're going to see. As the MACD is going to is about to turn around here. The stochastic has turned around, has crossed the signal line. The RSI is also turning around. So in the next two, three, probably four weeks, we'll have a crossing of the MACD and therefore may see something similar to what we saw over here, where we have a crossing uh, to the downside. And we basically see what we saw back then. We have the market basically tumbling all the way down to the 50 moving average. So. That is most likely what we're going to see, but we need the break of the 50 moving average in order to go all the way down to the 200 moving average. To the upside, we may see um, this bounce from the Fibonacci retracements. So we get it up here. So we are testing the first uh, one on first, the uh, 38.2 Fibonacci retracement uh, is going to be tested around this area. And dropping towards the 50 is down here at 5.58. 
um, and then we have the 60 61.8 that's down here at at the uh, 5.3 roughly around the area of the 50 moving average so getting towards this level here and bouncing that is a very high probability um, when considering that we both have the 50 moving average coming this way we have a massive area of uh, support here and it's a 50 61.8 Fibonacci retracement and then we may see a bounce we it doesn't mean that we have to go all the way up to eight probably towards half to round roughly 6.5 before going back down so of course demand is going to fall off a cliff both for um, individuals and companies um, in the next few weeks and therefore the market may go significantly lower so hope you find this helpful you are willing to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see you on the videos and good luck and thank you very much